Hey, what's up, Lowrider fam? Mark with Lowriding Archives, and I'm here at the American Homeboy movie premiere at the Gardena Cinema. Speaking of movie premieres, let's go back to April 2010 for the La Mission premiere at the Lemily in Pasadena, where I cut up with Jeremy Ray Valdez, who played the part of Jesse, Benjamin Bratt's son, or Che, in the movie. We talk a little bit about the land of enchantment, Lowriders, Benjamin Bratt, and Benjamin's brother, Peter, who wrote, directed, and produced the movie La Mission. I hope you all enjoy, and remember, cyberspace is scraping on low writing archives, but we're keeping tradition alive. Enjoy the segment. Hit that subscribe switch. <laughs> all right, folks, we got Jeremy Ray Valdez, who plays the part of Jess in the movie La Mission. Jeremy, nice to meet yes, you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Tell us one thing first of all. Were you exposed to the low writer culture before the movie in any way? Um, you know, growing up, I'm from New Mexico. And it, I don't know if you know this, but uh, the lowrider that's in the Smithsonian Institute is from the Española Valley. Oh, so, really? yeah, and that's where my family's from. So, yeah, definitely. I mean, Española, New Mexico is the lowrider capital of the world. Yeah, and that's what I heard. I actually talked to a lady that was from Española, and mm -hmm. that's kind of what they tout themselves as, the lowrider capital of the <laughs> you world. You got it. So, in the best red and green chili on the planet. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, uh, I... Not, you know, I never owned one. My parents never owned one or anything. But you know, I saw them, and I was, I was always in awe of them, and and uh, thought that they were just works of art. Yeah, absolutely, they are works of art. Um, now, this, what was it, a '63 or '64 Impala that was supposed to be yours? That's a '64, and that is actually um, Ben's personal car. Oh, really? He, he had it re, um, you know, refurbished for the film by a company called Brokeneck Customs in in San Francisco, who did all the the hero picture cars in the film. They're the ones who made those and, and have worked on those for years. So uh, Brokeneck Customs, San Francisco, California, badass guys. Yeah, I actually did see a little, I don't know if it was a YouTube interview or something on La Mission website, but I did see the proprietor. And, uh, Brokeneck, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah well, they're he, called Brokeneck because both, there's two owners and they both have broken their necks, one in a motorcycle accident, I think he one in a car accident, so that's why they call it Brokeneck Customs. Kind of appropriate, huh? Yeah, I guess so. How was it working with Benjamin? I know he's a, quite a seasoned actor. Did you get to learn any of the film? Well, as, yeah, as, as far as being a seasoned actor, yeah, he's been in the business now for 20 years. He's a really great actor, and he's a, he's a good guy. Um, but, you know, I think what I learned from him most is, is that he has a, he's a real gentleman, and, uh, and he has a successful marriage, and, and, a, and, you know, he's a family man first, an actor second. You know, husband to his his wife and uh, father to his children first, and it during the filming I got engaged to be married, and then and then I was married a year later. But uh, you know, you see so many negative negative portrayals of, of actors in in Hollywood as far as infidelity is concerned, and and you know to have him out there and being the the type of man that he is, and that's kind of what inspired me the most about him and, and what I what I uh, responded to most with him. And how about Peter's brother that directed and wrote and of course produced the film as well? Man, Peter's a badass. Just, that's it. I mean, he's just, he's just so smart, he's intelligent, and, and he's, he's got an excellent creative mind. Um, he's excited to show up every day to set. He's excited for his actors. He's excited for everybody on the set. And um, you know, he, he's, a, he's a joy to be directed by. Really wonderful to hear. Uh, if there was any kind of special lowrider that you had, what would it be? What would you choose for your special lowrider? I would choose the 65 Impala, but convertible. The SS. Perfect.